such a touching moment. First of all, it is wonderful to see you. You know, I have only been gone a very short time, but being here has been like a homecoming. And I've appreciated your warm good wishes and the hugs and the, the stories that we've shared. And I thank you so much. And tonight, of course, is incredibly special. I just thank everybody so very much. Seven and a half years ago, Ken Yamada called me and he said, we have an opening at the general board in the Division of Higher Education and I want you to come up and talk with me about this. And subsequently, of course, I talked with Jerome. I am so grateful that Ken suggested this to me, gave me the nudge, and I'm so grateful to Jerome for choosing me to fill the position in the Division of Higher Education. I thought I knew what I was getting into. You heard I'd been president of NASCAM, I'd been president of the Senate, I'd also been on this board, and I'd been on the United Methodist Higher Education Foundation board. I knew what I was getting into. And I would have to say it was, it was sort of easy to come in and, and have all of those experiences to, to build on. But the thing that has surprised me, the thing that has surprised me and pleased me has been the urgency and the intention and the speed with which this church is working to become a real international church. And there has been such a change over these seven years in the attention that's given and the int intention that is given to that. I have had a wonderful seven years. And I thank all of you who've had any part of that. And of course, you have had a part of that. It has been a joy and a rich experience for me. And there is this poignant moment now, and Sharon referred to it as well, this, this transition. And I look on it in some ways uh, very positively and very happily, and I look on it in some ways and say, and what comes next? Because while I have stopped working full-time at the General Board of Higher Education and Ministry, it is not my intention to stop working. And so I'm looking for ways, what are those new ways that I will serve the church and the institutions of the church? I thank each one of you for your friendship and your guidance and your help. And I want to draw particular attention to my husband. Bill Bigham is sitting out there. And he has been my supporter, my friend. He has tolerated the kind of travel and work that I have done. And he's loved me when I came home. And I am so grateful. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, everybody.